What's up everyone, today we have to talk about Guardian Games 2022. I was debating on whether or not I should make this video, but here we are. The event is back once again and with lots of changes. Some are good and some are not so much. Once again the event revolves around collecting laurels to purchase contender cards that then you have to go and complete in different activities. Contender cards that award gold medals cost 100 laurels for our normal playlist activities or 200 laurels for raids, trials, and nightfalls awarding platinum medals will give you more progress for your class. Now the big issue I have with this is that you can only grab one contender card at a time, so you have to constantly go back to the tower to pick up the next one. Sometimes you complete one contender card in two strikes, and you have to go back to pick up the next. Too much tower time. If you spend your laurels in platinum contender cards, you'll be constantly running out of laurels and not be able to pick up the repeatable bounties, which are the ones that grant you 10 bright dust each. Why would they lock them behind laurels instead of the usual 3000 glimmer? Anyone who wants to purchase the Guardian Games armor sets for all three classes is going to need 18,000 bright dust or just pay $15 each which is what they want us to do, of course. In my opinion, the armor sets aren't good looking at all, but if you like them, let me know in the comments. The whole system for this event is overcomplicated overall. It's not clear how to get the metal buff and the glows for your guardian which apparently lasts until reset, or even how to get the SMG to drop. The SMG... Okay, let's talk rewards. The weapon is called the title. It is a new void SMG that rolls with the new origin trait classic contender, which gives you class ability with kills. Cool. But is it cool enough to make us grant this event for 3 weeks and see our banners go up and down to get a nice, tiny statue in the corner of a tower? The rewards for this event are almost non-existent, besides the SMG, which at the time of recording this video is bugged and it's not dropping at all. Hoping this will fix soon because uh, other than this weapon, the rewards are a ship, a couple emblems, and a shader. So sad. Past Guardian games have had more rewards, Air Apparent was the main reward a couple years back, and then Excatalyst. And this year we get one legendary SMG. Also there have been exotic ghosts as rewards, or even a special emote for dedicating your time for this event. All the new cool emotes are in the Eververse, along with new finishers like this cool Glaive finisher. Several exotic ghost shells, 3 sparrows, and for actually playing the event, you can get one exotic ship, 2 emblems, and a shader. Okay, let's talk about some positives now because there are some positives, very few, but let's talk. The training activity playlist is basically a legend difficulty nightfall with matchmaking, which we've never seen before. So in this activity, we can get nightfall rewards at the end like prisms, exotics, and nightfall weapons. They are tough for sure. It took me around 20 minutes to finish Lightblade with the randoms I got paired with and died many times, but it feels good to get those nightfall rewards at the end. The decorations at the tower are always good. This time they added the torches and random details like these flowers all over the floor. Cool little details some of you might not care about, but it shows you the level of detail. It is sad that the rewards team couldn't deliver like the decorations team did. Overall, in my opinion, Guardian Games 2022 is not worth the grind for 3 weeks. Contender cards should be stackable so we don't have to go to the tower every 15 minutes. Repeatable bounties should be purchasable with Glimmer, not Laurels. And at least one exotic ghost and one exotic sparrow should have been added to the exotic ship and shader you can get as rewards. I want to know your thoughts about this year's Guardian Games down in the comments and if you're going to be grinding it all 3 weeks. Are you okay with the rewards? What do you think could fix this event? Thank you all for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button to help the channel. I'm Tavius Place, and if you want to watch other informative Destiny videos, you can click here. 